I'm excited, Wolfi. <laughs> I'm very excited. Monaco winner, Wolf Hensler is driving me around. So what is uh, special about uh, the racetrack in Monaco? Is it because it's narrow, because it's so tight? Is it, uh, are there any quick corners? Is it, uh, what is the most challenging part at the racetrack? I mean, it's, it's everything. It's just being at Monaco and uh, I mean, the racetrack, for sure, some parts are very narrow. You have a lot of bumps. Um, you have not enough runoff, like uh, yeah, walls or guardrails at most parts and that makes it very, very challenging for a driver. On one side he has to go fast and push the car to the limit, but on the other side he, he needs all, always, or he has always to leave a little bit of a, uh, like 1% of a safety gap, I would say. And when you, when you do setup in free practice, do you do something different than like on normal circuits? Is, it, is there any a different approach to you like try to um, set up the car a bit more to oversteer, like on normal streets, like on normal racing circuits, or is it the same basically? I think yeah. If you if you have a car that is not 100% uh, balanced, uh, has the perfect setup, um, it doesn't matter. Um, one driver pushes the car to 99%, another driver only to 96. Like it's always difficult when you're here the first time. Um, you have only a short, short uh, free practice, and then you go into the qualifying. I think we have to go here. This way? I think so. No, it's See, no, you've never been here and you know where to go. Yeah, but I, I was the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you are really old, Wolfie, it has been quite a while that you raced here. When was the last time you raced here? I'm not that old. I'm, uh, I always say I'm 29 plus tax. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the last time was in 2004. <coughs> But uh, what about you, Mark? Do you like uh, driving on, on, ra on street courses? Have yes. You, you yes. never raced at Monaco, you said, but no. have you raced at other street courses? Yeah, actually I did. I raced in, um, in, in uh, Canada, like it was called Trois-Rivières. It was in the old ALMS days, like 2003. That was quite interesting. I actually raced in Miami, in American Le Mans series. There was a Miami street race uh, down um, um, at the port, so it was quite... Uh, was quite challenging, it was quite interesting as well. Um, I raced in Bucharest street circuit, FIHET, and uh, one of my favorite races was in a V8 supercar in Australia, uh, Surface Paradise. So that was quite similar to Monaco. It's basically you're racing um, in the streets at Surface Paradise close to the beach, so the racetrack is parallel to the, to the sand beach and they were, where they are surfing and there are sharks and uh, it's a very cool race and uh, it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed doing it. It's, uh, as we said, it's challenging. Uh, you have to drive so precise. Um, you can't do any little mistakes because we will end up in a, in, a, in a big crash. So this is something I really enjoyed and always liked. And unfortunately, it never worked out for me in Monaco. <laughs> do you remember uh, Le Mans in 2010? when we both won in the GT class at yeah. the press conference. Yes. When the driver got asked, I don't say the name, uh, <laughs> how, how was it driving uh, in the night? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah. It was very dark. <laughs> in the night it was very dark. This is it. <laughs> That's the most hilarious post-race interview I've ever heard. That's for sure. Hey Wolf, um, as we're driving so for so many uh, hours now in the car because uh, I gave you the wrong direction. I think we should make a driver change somehow, somewhere. You think? I yes. don't think so. I think so. I like driving this car. Yeah, me too. No, it's you, okay. should, you should give me a chance, you know, at least. I want to enjoy driving the little scenery roads in Monaco. But actually, you're a good driver. Thank you're, you. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could do this for a living, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I would call you for a limo service to pick me up. <laughs> this GT3 car makes me uh, or want to drive uh, Monaco in a cup car again. Yes. Yeah. This is really cool here. The new cup car looks really, really good around the street circuit. Like how they can jump over the curbs in free practice and quality was just impressive. Really impressive. Just to, you know, to have a shot to, to do some laps in the, in the car around Monaco would be, would be fantastic. But what was really cool uh, when I was driving the lead car, uh, 
um, I was leading all the cup cars to the racetrack yesterday and uh, I did one complete lap on the on the track and it was was really cool to me. Wolfie, driver change. What's up? <coughs> driver change. Please. Hey, no racing on the streets, Wolfie. Behave. Oh, I'm staying within the track limits, so yeah. it's all fine. Behave. Behave. I don't want to spend the night in jail in Monaco. <laughs> Wolfie, driver change now. Yeah, sorry, I can't find any uh, good... Yeah. Good excuse. Uh, good, good excuse. excuse. No, I have a good excuse not to do a driver change. Another uh, sports missed, car brand. I missed, ah. I missed it. Sorry, I missed again the opportunity to do a driver change. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's drive to the paddock. You won the, the championship in 2004, the Super Cup season, right? Yeah. And then you you joined endurance racing and you became a Porsche factory driver afterwards. That's right, yeah. I was not a junior driver in, in Super Cup, um, but it, I took the Super Cup after winning the championship in 2004 and I, I won uh, uh, nine out of 12 races in that year. Um, obviously, some teams uh, or Porsche recognized that and uh, that was my springboard to become a, a professional uh, race car driver in endurance racing. I went, I went uh, to the US and I also did American Le Mans series uh, in 2005 and the years afterwards. So that's a good thing about um, driving one way cups and super cup that you, even though you're not a junior driver, you know, you still have the platform to, to show yourself, to prove yourself, to compete against the best in the business and then when you're doing a good job, you will be recognized by, by the factory and uh, you will get a shot and uh, most of the time to get a chance uh, for a factory contract and that's why I think it's so cool uh, these one make cups and especially Super Cup where you perform with the best always have to perform on a high level in front of the Formula 1 crowd it's very cool that, uh, that Porsche is still doing it and it's now 30 years I mean it's uh, such a long time and when you look at who was doing Super Cup and uh, you know who's a factory driver today it's uh, i mean from our days it was jörgi bergmeister he became a factory driver um, then also you have earl bamba he won the super cup in his first year as a junior and then one year after he won the 24 hour race at Le Mans. you know kevin estre all the young guys who are pushing like hell uh, they all went through cup and super cup which is yeah probably the in my opinion, the best platform as for a young driver to prove yourself and to prove what you can do. At the moment, yes, for sure, I, I would agree. I mean, of course, you have single seaters and a lot of guys dream about Formula One, um, but at the end, you know, it is, uh, they ha there are sports cars and there's GT racing, and you know, this could be, can be as fascinating as single seaters, in my opinion. So what's the last question? Last question. Wolfie, in all your career, you earn so much money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with all the money? <laughs> you as a Swabian, you don't spend money. I even remember when you were driving to Spa, you, you were in neutral driving down the hill to save fuel. <laughs> so tell me, what did you do with all the money? what I'm asking myself all the time. Where did it go? <laughs> so Wolf, I'm really happy to watch the race now uh, with you together. Um, hopefully your rookie drivers behave and they don't show up in the driver's student's <laughs> room afterwards with me. And then I'm really looking forward to the after party on your boat. <laughs>